Welcome to Moonstone Update. I'm Mark Beshard, the Managing Editor of Moonstone Publications. Here's a look at some of the stories we've covered over the past week. But first, please hit the subscribe button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Momentum Metropolitan and Sunlum are the only major life insurers to have grown the value of their new business relative to pre-COVID levels, according to PwC. The key performance indicators for the past decade show that real growth in profitability among the five major insurers was muted even before the pandemic. PwC said although sales across the life industry seem to be growing again, significant macroeconomic headwinds are expected to constrain growth in the short to medium term. The end of the current CBD cycle is only days away, and time is of the essence if you haven't completed your CBD activities. If you're looking to make up those missing hours, Moonstone Business School of Excellence's courses are designed to fill any gaps you might have when it comes to the regulatory environment, ethical standards, professional best practice, and business skills. Follow the link below to choose a course that's right for you. The FSCA has provided revised examples of the impact the levies FSPs will pay following the amendments to the levy formulae announced by National Treasury. The revised levy per representative or key individual decreases by 16% to 520 Rand. However, Treasury has kept the levy payable to the phase ombud per representative or KI at 690 Rand. This is a 54% increase on the current levy. The Ombudsman for Long-Term Insurance received a record number of complaints last year. It said this was due to the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic as insurers received more claims. The Ombudsman recovered more than 200 million rand for complainants in the form of lump sums, compared with 177 million in 2020. Last year, the Ombudsman dealt with a number of complaints about rejected or limited funeral benefit claims that arose from the ambiguous use of two words. The microinsurer's policy document stated that the maximum benefit amount per life assured was 50,000 rand on all policies. The problem arose at claim stage when a life assured died who was covered under more than one policy owned by different policyholders. It was not clear whether all policies referred only to policies held by a particular policyholder or to all policies across all insurers or to all policies held with the particular insurer. The Council for Medical Schemes says it will take action against Insight Actuaries and Consultants Joint Chief Executive Christoph Roth following his comments about low-cost benefit options. Roth told the Board of Healthcare Funders annual conference that the lack of regulatory reform meant millions of people from low-income households were paying out of pocket for private health care because they could not obtain affordable cover. The Financial Services Tribunal has upheld a determination by the pension fund's adjudicator that a security guard who lost the use of his right arm following a shooting did not qualify for a disability benefit because he could perform other duties. The tribunal said the medical evidence established that the applicant's right arm was totally and permanently incapacitated, but this did not mean he was incapable of being engaged by virtue of his training and experience in any other occupation. That's all we have for this week. You can read these stories and many more on our website, moonstone.co.za. Until next time, here's wishing you all the best from the team at Moonstone Information Refinery.